blue yet hazy in the Coachella Valley today as the Fairview fire continues to burn. South Coast AQMD says that smoke particles from the blaze can reduce air quality in the local area. It's hard to um, predict smoke impacts out more than a day or so, just because there's a lot of uncertainty in the fires themselves, containment, how much smoke the fires themselves will generate including the uncertainty in the weather. Smoke inhalation can affect everyone, but can have a particular detrimental effect for those with respiratory illnesses, children, and the elderly. According to Riverside County Health, who sent out their own smoke and ash advisory today, neighboring areas being affected by the fire include San Jacinto Valley, Temecula, Marietta, and Menifee. The current air quality index for the Coachella Valley is rated moderate. South Coast AQMD says that our current air quality is mainly the result of triple-digit temperatures. Fires aren't our only concern in the summer. Um, high levels of ozone or smog uh, typically occur on these super hot days, which uh, we've seen this week. South Coast AQMD has extended their ozone advisory for the local area due to the heat wave that is set to continue through most of this week. For some Coachella Valley natives, preparing for poor air quality is just another part of life in the desert. Well, if it gets too bad, I'll, I'll usually stay indoors and don't go out as much and I'll, uh, you know, just try to stay in as long as I can. In addition to staying indoors during times of poor air quality, South Coast AQMD recommends limiting your physical activity, closing all windows and doors, and wearing a medical grade mask. While smoke from the Fairview fire isn't affecting us in the Coachella Valley now, they also say it is important to stay aware as conditions can always change. In Palm Springs, Tatum Larson, News Channel 3.